Well, tonight, 10 News tracked down two San Diego police officers seen in this video who went above and beyond to help a disabled veteran. I appreciate what they did. Like I said, they went out of their way of how many people would stop. 10 News reporter Preston Phillips joins us now. And Preston, they pushed that guy nearly two miles whenever his scooter broke down. Yeah, Stephen, the conditions were much different than they are tonight. It was hot out here, a very busy Claremont Mesa Boulevard. Both of those police officers from SDPD's Eastern Division fully suited out and gun belts and everything, pushing Gil the Rock and his more than 300 pound scooter all the way up this road. The least I could do was push him. Um, put, you know, that's the least I can do. He's, he's sacrificed and given so much to this country. This wasn't what Vietnam veteran Gil LaRock was expecting to happen when his power scooter stopped working on a busy Claremont Mesa Boulevard the day before Memorial Day. You wouldn't expect to do something like that, push you all the way home. But that's exactly what San Diego police officer Milo Shields, a veteran, and Eric Cooper, the son of a veteran, did when they saw LaRock struggling, trying to flag down traffic in the hot sun. I appreciate what they did. Like I said, they went out of their way of how many people would stop. It was a lot easier said than done, as there were some hiccups along the nearly two-mile route, pushing the rock and a dead scooter that weighed more than 300 pounds. Whenever we got to an intersection, we'd be in the middle of the intersection pushing this guy, and it would just lock up, so we'd have to drag this thing through the intersection. The rock has had trouble walking ever since he suffered several injuries in Vietnam. Since he can't drive, LaRock uses the scooter to run errands for him and his 90-year-old father, a Pearl Harbor survivor. He's 90 years old and he's in better condition than I am. 90 uh, years old and a Pearl Harbor survivor. Yes. We think about veterans one day a year. Uh, we should think about them more. Um, you know, Memorial Day and then we move on. Um, but every day to me is Memorial Day. And once they got LaRock home, the SDPD sergeant who was actually shooting them, pushing the uh, scooter up the street with his cell phone out of his patrol car, took them back to their patrol car. Tonight, LaRock's scooter is in the shop getting fixed. He expects it to get back sometime on Friday. Tonight, reporting live from Sarah Mesa, Preston Phillips, 10 News.